friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. That everything on the checklist? Yep. Great. Twilight Sparkle, element of OCD. Item one. Create checklist of the things I have to accomplish by the end of the day. <sighs> Sounds like we're ahead of schedule. What's next? Cupcakes! Stop baiting me. Anyway, the next item on Twilight's checklist is to pick up some cupcakes she ordered. But it turns out there's one extra. Most people would appreciate that, but Twilight turns it into a problem. Just some of the icing from the extra cupcake is getting all over the one next to it. I can't even believe how rude Twilight is being right now. I know she paid for the cupcakes and can do whatever she wants with them, but if someone bought a piece of art for me, then noticed that something was off about it, and proceeded to pick up a pen and change it right in front of me, I'd be pretty annoyed. But here, and here, and... Perfect! Hmm, oh yes, much better. Please just go away, you psycho. Good thing we don't have anything to report to Princess Celestia this week. I don't think I could write another word. So, Twilight is supposed to be sending a letter to Princess Celestia every week about what friendship lesson she learned. When she realizes she hadn't sent one that week, she freaks out. If I don't send her a letter by sundown, I'll be... TARDY! What's that now? She'll send me back to... Magic Kindergarten. Basically, it was Twilight who started the Tyrant Lestia rumors. Spike is all about the fourth wall breaking in this episode. He's been spending too much time around Pinkie Pie. Anyway, she is now determined to get a letter to Celestia before the end of the day. Got any problems, troubles, conundrums, or any other sort of issues, major or minor, that I, as a good friend, could help you solve? Hmm. I got nothing. So she literally goes looking for trouble. Uh, this won't end well. He called it. You've got this, Twilight. Rarity! Yeah, she is far too happy to hear Rarity's scream of horror. Then again, it is Rarity. Chances are it's about something frivolous. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst of me! <laughs> Meme. I've lost my diamond and crossed in purple ribbon! The sofa is basically a meme, too. Never fear, Rarity. As your friend, I'll do my best to help you find- Oh, there it is. But yeah, she'd misplaced a ribbon. But now she's found it. Problem solved. I love this recurring visual theme where the sun moves across the sky accompanied by clock sounds as a transition between scenes. It's pretty slick. Anyway, Twilight discovers Rainbow Dash destroying Applejack's barn. Rainbow must be angry with Applejack! She must hate her guts! Again, a little too happy there, Twilight. Anyway, Twilight insists on acting as Dash's therapist to help her work through her issues with Applejack. Why are you destroying her property? Because she asked me to. Right, Applejack? Yes, ma'am. I wanted to put up a new barn, but this one's gotta come down first. Didn't she just rebuild that barn? Hell, that thing goes up and down so many times I lose track. Anyway, Dash takes it down with a sonic rain boom, resulting in a rainbow-colored mushroom cloud. Neat. So Twilight has decided to seek out Fluttershy. Fluttershy always has some fear she's trying to get over. Yeah, nice thing to say about your friend, Twilight, even if it is true. Cut to Fluttershy wrestling a bear and apparently winning. I don't know what Twilight's freaking out over, it's just like any visit to a chiropractor. You can do this! Oh, but what if I can't? You can! You know it's bad now because Twilight is pulling a golem and talking to herself. And hallucinating. You just relax and go hang out with the picnic. Also, Twilight gets all the best face awards for season two. So she has a picnic to go to. Oops, Rarity forgot the plates. But this is the worst possible thing. <laughs> Still best pony. Anyway, she has just lost it now. It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. So she tells all her friends what happened, and they shrug it off. To be fair, she did make it sound a lot worse than it was. If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be party! No excuse for laughing at her, though. Ugh. 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 What? 
a drama queen. Clock is ticking, Twilight. Clock is ticking. Face. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to work. Wait for it. <laughs> Looks like three good friends who obviously don't need the help of another good friend. Be afraid, Scootaloo. This is Smarty Pants. Yeah, them being children gives this scene an extra disturbing vibe. I really like her name. I miss when Sweetie Belle's voice used to crack like that. She even comes with her own notebook and quill for when you want to pretend she's doing her homework. Out of all the Twilights in the world, you are the Twilightiest. I think I've said that before. I really like her name. Anyway, of course, none of them want the doll because it's ugly. So she puts a spell on it so they'll obsess over it. I really like her name! Okay, okay, let's break it up. I think you can all see that there's an important lesson to be learned here about- As expected, things get out of hand really quickly. Then Big Mac shows up and- You gotta help me get that doll away from those girls! Yep. Now if you could just give her to me. Now he wants the doll. Nope. So basically anyone who sees it now has to have it and practically all of Ponyville ends up fighting over it. That incredible, amazing doll! Including Bon Bon. The day is almost over! Not almost. Twilight Sparkle! And now she's in trouble. Celestia breaks the spell. Scrunchy face derpy. Even without the spell, Big Mac still wants the doll, so it's his now. Meet me in the library. I guess Celestia can have a pretty intimidating presence when she wants to. We're never gonna see Twilight again! So now Twilight's friends are thinking she really is in serious trouble, and they instantly regret not taking her seriously. What? I really mean it this time! They all confront Princess Celestia and say that it was their fault for not being there for Twilight. We all saw that Twilight was upset. But we thought that the thing that she was worrying about wasn't worth worrying about. Oh, I love Pinkie Pie's little nuzzle of apology. In fact, she never says a word, which is really out of character for her. That's how bad she feels. Not a single one of us tried to stop her! Please don't take her away from us just because we were too insensitive to help her. Off topic, but I love how Celestia strikes a random pose here. My wings are so pretty! Anyway, Celestia changes the rule. From now on, any of them can send her a letter, and only when they actually learn something. I'm pretty sure that was implied with Twilight before, but obviously it needs to be made extra clear. How did you know I was in trouble? It turns out that Spike was the one who contacted Celestia about what was happening, so he was the only one who did the right thing. Yes, obviously Spike did not have to learn a lesson because he is the best, most awesome friend a pony could ask for. And so ends lesson zero. Yup, it was Twilight's turn to freak out this time. And it's just about on the same level as Pinkie Pie in Party of One. Going by how this episode has come up in the comments of previous videos, I guess this is one of those episodes that people either love or hate. Personally, I'm on the love side. Twilight's facial expressions are hilarious and creepy, and obsessing over things is what she always does. It's exaggerated here for comedic effect and to make a point. If she was acting the opposite of her usual character, that would be bad. And her friend shrugging off her concerns? Yeah, it's crappy, but it's a thing people do sometimes, and they learn their lesson in the end. And that's basically the lesson of this episode. If a friend is overreacting to something, don't just shrug off their concerns. Try to help them through it. Also, try not to be that friend that overreacts to everything. If nothing else, Fluttershy appears to snap a bear's neck. What more do you need? Next up is Luna Eclipsed. See you then. Very efficient. And a little bit gross. Hmm.